guys, it's Cheryl here today. Today I'm participating in a collaboration hosted by Saving with Mrs. V and All Things Lux by Robin. And the challenge is you had to upcycle your stash. So it's called Upcycling Your Stash 2020. So I'm here in my laundry room. And if you watch my channel, you know I'm a collector and I collect tin cans. And I've had some of these cans for years, so I didn't know what to do with them. So I decided to decorate my laundry room with them. And so I went in my stash. I had some extra cans that I didn't put up. So I'm going to show you uh, how to do this. So stick around. I'll be right back. Okay, so what you need for this is a tin cans, of course. And you're going to need... A glue gun and glue sticks and these magnetic buttons. Um, some cans are heavier than others and they will require uh, two buttons. And so I had these cans but I couldn't put them up because I didn't have any buttons. So I actually found some at the Dollar Tree yard yesterday. Yeah, I broke down and went to the Dollar Tree. So y'all come back and see what I picked up for that. But these are some cans that I had. Um, we tried it before with uh, Velcro. <laughs> that didn't work well because sometimes in the middle of the night, for some reason, a tin can would fall off, fall off the um, wall and scare us half to death. So what you do first is you take your... Um, Mag magnet buttons and you put glue on them so some of them like I said you might need one you might need two um, and you glue them on the wall and I'm going to put one over here I'll show you in a second and you got to make sure that they um dry especially if it's a heavy can because it may fall off the wall so I'm going to glue some of these buttons on the wall and then I'll show you how I hang them uh, the tin cans on the wall, so stick around. Okay, I'm back. I um, glued some of the magnets on the wall, as you can see, and I have a little step swing. I'm going to get up here and put some of them up. Some of them, like I said, you need to get a little crooked sometimes and I think I got enough magnets on the wall like see see that one wants to move you could put two magnets some of them I do the only thing about being here in the laundry room they get um, a little bit uh, dusty let's see the ones that are the best are the ones that have edges on it and uh, what I mean by that is like edge like that. Okay. The can that I really love is this one. Y'all can see that. It's it was hardest to get on the wall, so I had to put four magnets. So let me show you that. So right there you could see I have four magnets. They don't look all that straight. But I think that's the only way that I'm gonna get this one to stay on the wall. Yeah. That's nice. Um, I collect these Altoid cans because I, I bet you sh shortly you won't be able to find those cans. So every time I see a new one, I pick it up. Okay, there's a magnet down there. Uh, let's see, what can am I going to put over there? Let's put this one. It's a little Christmas. A Christmassy one. Oh, Y'all got to dust him off. Okay. Put that one there. Uh, let's see. I've got one up there. Let's put this one up there. Let's see. Uh, let's see this one. This can I'm gonna put up there. If I can, I had. A okay, I had this one had a magnet already behind it. I had to go get that off, so I'm just going to stick that one right there. I think I'm going to leave it there. Okay, I'm just going to 
this is pretty. Okay. Let's see. I don't have many behind the door because I usually keep the door open. But I have this candy cane lane sign because I love Christmas. You can see those up there. I got a couple more to put up and then I'll give you a tour of what the room looks like. Or two magnets close the door and I messed up and got a little glue on the wall but hopefully this can it's got glue on it let me get that off yeah gotta cover it up they're kind of heavy because they still have the uh mitts in there and I think they probably take them out okay and that's why they're heavy so I put those two there I'm going to put this little small Altoid one there. And then we're going to circle around over here. I've got three, three more cans to put up, y'all. Okay, you see over there I got a magnet. And I'm going to put this can there. And that hangs perfect because it's got a edge on it um let's see this other altoid can put it right there, put it out. Shoot. i don't want this little emergency kit to fall i'm gonna put an extra magnet on the wall for that i don't want that to fall off the wall it's, it's gonna glue that there i know should wait for a time. You know what? I'm not well this has got that done with Velcro on the bottom. Let me take that off. Okay, um I put the out towards one here, but I think I need another magnet because it was just uh, twist. So I'm gonna stick one right there. And, oops. and there you go. They stick and they don't turn. Okay, and the last one I'm putting up is this can right here. And it, oh, shoot. We just got that one up from behind. <laughs> it just don't want to go. I have to get it back out. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Before we get into the tour, um, I had to stop and pull out the washing machine, the dryer to get that darn can that fell behind there for the second time. So I decided to move it elsewhere. I decided to put it over here. But so let's let's do a tour of uh, my laundry room and how I decorate it with these tin cans. And before that, uh, if you like uh, different things that people do. Around the house, that's what I am about. I do gardening, cooking, DIYs, and decorating. So let's let's take a look at some of the cans that I've collected over the years. Um, we'll start on this wall. Oops, that one is kind of crooked. I might have to I might have to get another magnet for that one. But we'll start up at the top. Those are old cans. Remember when you used to buy uh, candy from the schools and they came in tin cans? Well, I kept all mine. Some of those are really old, probably about 30 years old or more. And then whenever I see like Hershey's or um, Snickers, I get those cans. Uh, let's go over here. See, I have the um, some Snicker cans up there. Uh, or I haven't seen these lately, um, usually at Christmas time, so I'll keep looking for more. And over here, I have some old Easter ones and spring ones. A lot, like I said, a lot of these came from schools. And so as I got them, I couldn't part with them. I used to give cookies away at Christmas time, but people weren't giving me my cans back. Or they came back dented, so I stopped doing that. And then I have the Wrigley's gum 
Is it four of them? Let me know. Oh, I know which ones I'm missing. Let me know if you know which one out of these three uh, cans. I got Juicy Fruit, Spearmint, and Double Mint. I think I'm missing one. I can't remember. But if you if it is, let me know. Some of them are a little crooked. Um, I straighten them out as I go. Like sometimes I'll get um, eyeshadow that might come in a can. And I take it out. Because uh, sometimes I buy stuff just because it's in a can. <laughs> and then I have my little um, figure from uh, Despicable Me. And that's that darn can that wouldn't stay on the wall. But I was happy that I was finally able to get this can to uh, stay up on the wall. Isn't that pretty? And just weird ones that I see when I go places like... I don't remember if I bought Jelly Belly, but I got that can from somewhere. Um, a lot of Christmas ones, as I said. And then up the top there, you see most of those are kind of like spring, Easter. And over here, I put uh, two of my big Hershey cans that I had and a couple of Christmas ones. And then here, just uh, like the mints, not the Altoids, but the mints and the emergency fashion kits and the prayer box. Isn't that pretty? I picked those up from the Dollar Tree. So, like I said, these claw hammer mints, I think I got them at a, maybe at home or something like that when I was at the checkout. So I thought they were different. I didn't have them. And then I got Dory. And yeah. So I'm going to back up so you can kind of see from a distance. So when you come into my laundry room, this is what you see. I enjoy it. It's something to look at when you come in. I'm going to have to put some at the very top shortly but i'll have to get a taller ladder because i'm shortly and so i'm gonna click keep uh collecting cans if you want to send me some i appreciate it so don't forget to check out the playlist and thanks again saving with mrs v and all things lux with robin i enjoyed this challenge um i had another diy but it was an epic fail so i didn't want to show that so I decided, hey, I needed to do this anyway, so let, let's get it done. So that's what I did. So I hope you liked this video, and if you did, give me a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, I hope you consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.